Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. First one, I'm filming in front of the new bookshelves. Very exciting. But today we have another book haul. I know I did one two weeks ago, maybe not even that long ago, and I'm pre-filming this. So it'll be a big gap for you guys, but it was very, very recent for me. But whenever I feel damn sad, have to go through literally anything remotely sad, difficult, I will buy books. And that is what I did. So it was having a bit of a tough week slash weekend. So I allowed myself to basically just go absolutely insane. Do you know what I mean? Like I've bought so many books and do you know what I mean? I think this is probably, do you know what I mean? It like equivalates to the cost of a therapy session, but you know what? I get a lot more value for money out of this. Well, debatable. Anyway, I went charity shopping and then just regular book shopping and I picked up a whole bunch of books. I bought 19 books. Let me like see if I can show you. So we've got like a massive pile here of books and then we also have another pile here of books. You can see tons. So let's just get straight into it. I can't wait to show you all of these books. Again, as always, if you want to see me read any of these in particular, do let me know. Um, and I'll try and make them into reading vlogs and stuff. So let's first go through the charity shop books. Um, I'm not going to be reading everything's blurb because as we all know, I hate that and it takes forever. And I'm not very good at reading aloud. So firstly, we have some thrillers from the charity shop. This one was a pound. This is The Push by Ashley Audrain. This has been on my TV uh, for a while. It's kind of like creepy kid and like, is the mother horrible or is the kid horrible? Like she's only kind of horrible around the mother so you don't know whether it's like her imagination or not kind of thriller vibes then i picked up gone girl which is a classic but i've never actually read i've watched the movie really enjoyed it and this again was a pound in the charity shop then i picked up the family upstairs which i believe is basically about a baby that's found like well fed and looked after in a flat but around it are like a bunch of decomposing bodies that have been there for like weeks so they're trying to figure out what's going on who's looking after the baby etc etc and i've heard good things about lisa jewel then we've got Got a spoonful of murder which is the first of a couple of thursday murder club riff-offs i bought because i love the thursday murder club this one is about a group of school teachers who meet every thursday and then the next thursday they meet one of their colleagues is dead so they're trying to figure out who did it again this was just like a pound in the charity shop maybe two pounds um very very cheap then i've no idea why i bought this one really but i got the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy which is obviously a very famous book this one is actually the illustrated edition so it's got really fun illustrations in there and I mean I've heard good things it's an extremely popular book so I probably will get around to it sometime I'm trying to branch out a little bit into sci-fi so I think kind of like I think this is sci-fi comedy um should be like a good route to go down I'm definitely very intrigued by it and then finally for the charity shop books I bought The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina this was only £3 for the hardback so I was very pleased about that and this one I actually have not got a clue what it is about I believe her daughter is kidnapped type of thing but anyway this sounds very intriguing and I've heard things about that one and Sherry Lapina so now moving on to slightly more exciting stuff what should we go into next maybe my uh ones that i got in the works so obviously as we all know the works do their three four six pounds offer and i think i picked up some really good romances in there so firstly we've got the key to my heart by leah lois leah lois i'm not sure um but i read what was it called eight perfect hours by her and i was actually really pleasantly surprised it very much exceeded my expectations as a romance so i thought this one doesn't sound quite as good as that one but i enjoyed her writing and i enjoyed her storytelling so i'm excited to read it it is a 2023 release so obviously i love to read new releases so yeah this is definitely one that intrigued me so i thought i might as well give it a go then we brought a book from one of my favorite authors which is christina lauren i know they've come out with a new one recently but this is i believe one of the last books on their backlist that I haven't read besides Love and Other Words because the UK cover is hideous and I really want to get a different cover but I just never have got around to reading Love and Other Words uh, but I did pick up this one which is something wilder I think this is a second chance romance I didn't even read the blurb I just love Christina Lauren's writing um, I've got four of their books up here and I always really really enjoy them so yeah definitely wanted to pick this one up I've been eyeing it for a while and it was the last one there so very happy to grab that and then finally I bought Get A Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert which is the first in the Brown Sisters series I believe it's got like chronically ill rep and it's meant to be a very good romance um i've heard good things from like people that don't really read romances as well it's quite a popular one so yeah very very intrigued by it and yeah if i like it obviously i'll pick up the rest in the series but yeah i love just having really pretty 
little romance here. They look so nice together. Then I popped into WH Smiths and they do a two for six pounds, no, a two for 12 pounds, two for six pounds would be great. A two for 12 pounds deal. And I picked up the other Thursday Murder Club ripoff, which is the Marley Murder Club. And this is basically about a woman who's swimming in the Thames and she witnesses a murder. And then she teams up with two of her other elderly friends to try and solve it. So yeah, literally just the same thing, but I love a like cozy mystery. So I thought I might as well pick this one up. Um, definitely very intrigued by it. I also saw a spoonful of murder in there and then I bought it for two pounds at the charity shop. So I'm very happy that I picked this one instead. Also that one's got much higher ratings than a spoonful of murder. The spoonful of murder is the lowest one on my TBR, but we're going to talk about it. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And then I also picked up The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett. I've read The Appeal and I just finished The Mysterious Case of the Alps and Angels and I really, really enjoyed both of them. This one is all told in like podcasts, like transcriptions. And yeah, I think it's about a code that needs to be deciphered and it reveals certain things. I'm not too sure, but I've really enjoyed her other books. So I thought I would pick this one up. Very, very excited for that one. Oh, then I forgot. I got some other ones in the works as well. I picked up one. Oh, I dropped it lovely i picked up one true loves by taylor jenkins reed this one i asked you guys to vote on my community tab i think the poll is still open so if you want to vote you can um but i've already got the book so if a different book gets voted highest then i will have to buy another book but which taylor jenkins book i should read for a certain video i've already got the two other books for that video planned but i wanted a uh one out of those options so i asked for basically her entire backlist forever interrupted one true loves maybe in another life and after i do and this is the one that won by like a landslide so i will be reading this hopefully for a video this month um this is where basically she's high school sweethearts with someone gets married and then he disappears and then 10 years later she's remarried but then he comes back and it's very intriguing i've heard really good things then i picked up the inheritance game series so i've been wanting this for a while but i've hated the uk covers like comparatively to the american ones look at that like with the question marks over the eyes what are they doing but i did think that the spines of the uk versions are stunning and i'm like that's what's actually going to be on my shelves so i bought these ones and it was 15 pounds for the box set so five pounds each i thought was pretty good um, i've been eyeing them up for a while i think i will really like them and yeah pretty spine so that's what matters but we got the inheritance games the hawthorne legacy and the final gambit which are all meant to be like knives out-esque kind of murder mystery type books so yeah very intrigued for all of these then i went into waterstones and i bought four books so these were in the buy one get one half price Firstly, we have Pod, which I believe is told from the perspective of a dolphin, but it's shortlisted for the Women's Prize for Fiction. I was going to do a video reading the shortlist, but then this was the only one that I actually was interested in. So I was like, actually, let's spin that off. Let's just buy the book. So this one I'm very intrigued about. It's pretty short, but I think it sounds really intriguing. And then I bought The Three Dahlias, which is a murder mystery again. And I believe it's kind of Agatha Christie-esque, where they've all played this famous detective, three different actresses. They go to a convention in a like old manor house and then someone dies and they have to kind of figure out who did it and then finally i bought two horror books by my favorite horror author which is grady hendrix you can see one of his books behind me here and i bought horror store which is one of his first books i believe it's about a haunted ikea and it's so cool like it's laid out like an instruction manual and i don't know if you can see but they've got like like different things like that i think it's so fun and it's a weird shape but i think this is going to be so much fun to read it's a pretty short one it's only about 200 or so pages but yeah i picked this one up and then I also picked up his more famous one, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I feel like it's going to be a really campy vampire horror novel and I'm super duper excited. I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring this back to uni. It's one of the only ones that I'm actually bringing back to uni because obviously I'm coming home for the summer and I'm going to have to bring all my books back. But I thought I would take this one because I think I'm just going to love it. I cannot wait to read it. So yeah, that is probably tipped off my TBR right now. So yeah, those were all the books that I bought. I've actually got through this super quickly. I'm very proud of myself it's only about 10 minutes long so the video will probably be shorter than that which is incredible for me considering how many books that i bought 19 books ridiculous hey guys i'm actually jumping in a few days later because i bought more books i really don't know what to say about this i just know that i have a problem like a proper book buying problem um so yeah let's just add on to the haul we've got uh one two three four five six seven eight more books here okay three of them were bought like just before the haul I thought that I probably wasn't going to mention them just because they were at uni and I was like I'll just talk about the ones I got home and then these will come up when they come up um but now I bought 
five extra books i thought i might include these ones that i bought um a few weeks ago so firstly we've got two gorgeous special editions one i will just talk about it's not a special edition and it is under the whispering door by tj clune i read the house in the cerulean sea recently and it is my favorite book of all time i absolutely adored it i cannot wait to reread it so i thought i might as well pick up his other book under the whispering door um i've heard this is really good this is what made me want to read the house in the cerulean sea i wanted to read this one first um but I don't know why for some reason I felt the need to read them in the order that they were published and I think this is the second book um they're not related at all they're not even in the same universe but for some reason I felt the need to read his um initial j debut first not debut but first kind of like cozy fantasy book and then read this one this is meant to be super super cute um and about kind of death and I think it says welcome to Charon's Crossing the tea is hot the scones are fresh and the dead are just passing through and it's an uplifting story about a life spent at the office and a death spent building a home so i think that sounds so cute makes you want to cry his blurbs always make me want to cry i don't know why and then speaking of special editions i have the prettiest thing i've ever seen in my whole life wait for it oh my god look at that this is the waterstones edition i think it's still available of in the lives of puppets it is stunning um it literally looks gorgeous and it's a signed edition which is always super duper fun. I believe he has a series called Green Creek and that's these three books. And then you've got The House in the Cerulean Sea and The Whispering Door and The Bones Beneath My Skin, which I haven't heard of, but might need to check out. So yeah, this is the gorgeous Waterstones edition with the gorgeous sprayed edges. And it's just a kind of naked hardback, just looks like that, no um, gold embossing or anything, but it's stunning. And on here on the back, it says, inspired by the adventures of Pinocchio and the Swiss family Robinson in the lives of puppets, it's a masterful and heartfelt fantasy adventure. Here, even a family assembled from Spain parts might become whole oh my god i have such high hopes for this i think i'm gonna love it as with this one so excited can't wait and then the other special edition i got was happy place by emily henry which i'm so excited about it's just got these gorgeous sprayed edges and the hardback underneath is a gorgeous blue with some pink writing and this is about harriet and win who are i believe it's a second chance romance they're together um but then they broke up and they still have to go on holiday with their friends so they're going to pretend to be together for the weekend i've had really good things i've heard it's more literary fiction than romance but still super duper excited for that one and then we have the books that i've bought recently so firstly we have three that i bought when i went to nottingham with my boyfriend um uh, firstly i picked up part of your world by abby jimenez who um is a very popular author at the moment especially on book talk i've seen she's written in yours truly and the happy ever after place i think and this is her most popular book and i've heard just really really good things about this i actually uh, know pretty much nothing about it i think it's like opposites attract with a bit of an age gap um but yeah really um kind of want to go into this blind because i've heard everyone loves it and um yeah i think it'll be really really cute and yeah i'm really excited about it i've actually got quite high expectations for that and then i got two uh kind of shorter books in the buy one get one at waterstones firstly our wise under the sea which i'm very excited for this i believe is like a slow paced horror book about a woman who goes on like a deep sea mission and gets stranded i believe and then when she comes back her wife is kind of like coming to terms with the fact that like something's different about her and i think it seems very spooky um i am a little bit nervous because it says slow horror and i think i've starting to learn recently that i don't like slow books so i'm not sure but it's short so i think i will enjoy it and yeah very excited about that one then we have medusa by jesse burton i actually have no idea why i put this up i was looking for another one in the buy one get one half price and i saw the um like greek retelling stand and i was like okay and i had a look at this and it sounds really really good basically i won't read the large part of the blurb but it says monster man hater murderous forget everything you've been told about medusa in a new version of the story set in stone long ago so sounds very intriguing again a short one i believe riley marie read it and she seemed to really rave about it on goodreads when i looked at the reviews so yeah plus gorgeous cover and i love any cover that's got like this i don't know what this is called like the fake hardback um but i love it so yeah really excited about that one and then i picked up two books at asda literally today uh when i went shopping i went to do my food shop and i obviously bought books because i've got a problem uh these were in the two for eight pounds so four pounds each and firstly i got love in the time of serial killers which is super floppy we love to see it um i've heard mixed things about this but it was viral on tiktok maybe around valentine's day i think and it's basically about a girl who's kind of obsessed with true crime and she 
thinks that her neighbour is a serial killer um, and then I think they fall in love and I'm presuming he's not a serial killer but yeah I'm very intrigued about it I've heard mixed things but I can't say no to a lovely fussy floppy secondly easy romance do you know what I mean like that's kind of such a good palette cleanser for me and I'm really enjoying romances at the moment I was very much out my romance era now I think I'm going back in where I'm just like appreciating them as a nice happy kind of like palette cleanser to read in between more serious books and I actually um, are really starting to appreciate them a lot and then I also picked up this one which I have heard good things about from Kayla from Books and Lala and this says on the front Knives Out meets Richard Osman and I'm like could anything be more perfect for me this is everyone in my family has killed someone I think it basically goes through family member by family member so like my mother and stuff and talks about their story um I think it's meant to be kind of funny kind of cozy mystery I'm not too sure but it says I knew our family reunion wouldn't end well but I didn't expect it to end with murder and then obviously a big blurb that I won't read it says I'll give you one clue it wasn't me but a piece of advice never trust a Cunningham so I think maybe it was him do I mean like we might have an unreliable narrator we might have just anything here not a floppy one but again super duper excited about that so yeah those are all the books that we are adding into the haul so I said I think it was 19 before so this makes it 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 Oh my god. I will jump back to pass me to end up the video. To recap, basically run through them, we've got Horror Store, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, The Three Dahlias, Pod, The Inheritance Games Trilogy, One True Loves, The Twyford Code, The Marlowe Murder Club, Get a Life Chloe Brown, Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, The Key to My Heart, the Couple Next Door, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Spoonful of Murder, The Family Upstairs, Gone Girl and The Push. So any of these you want to see in specific vlogs or you want to see reviews for, let me know and I'll make sure they work their way into my videos. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a like down below. Hit subscribe, turn on the bell to join a little club. Make sure you turn on all notifications, then you will be notified every single time I post a new video. If you want to watch my other videos, there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a learning tab in the cards from earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!